have been bullied into making a decision? Uh, uh, let's see. So, I think it can't be gainsaid that um, the influence of uh, of uh, of uh, you know of sometimes mob-like behavior has made it considerably more difficult to take the simple step of allowing Ched to train, uh, of, of allow and allowing the club to act in accordance with the principles that we've articulated. Um, I would tell you that um, we um, have tried to, uh, in in our statement made last night, we have tried to temper the principles that we've articulated um, by adding a component of prudence of saying. Um, all right, it's going to be too costly to proceed in this fashion to the, to the long-term interests of the club. And I'm not talking there about money. I'm talking about feeling, goodwill, the, uh, the motivation of our fans and of our, uh, and of our players, the, you know, the, the essence of what we are as a club. It was, it was going to be too costly. And I know so many of our fans who've told me, I am bored of this issue, right? And Imagine, imagine if we if we let this run on for months and months and months, maybe more than a year, right? It just it's not the right thing for the club. Can you give examples of the kind of pressure that you've been under to make this decision? Um, I appreciate the question, but I think I'm going to leave the public record um, <laughs> as it is without comment. I think there's been uh, an ample amount of different types of uh, of pressure uh, try, you know brought to bear on the club and those associated with the club. PFA has said they would like Chet to continue his career with another club. How would you feel and how do you think the fans would feel if he signs for another side? The PFA has previously uh, articulated a statement which, uh, with which we agree wholeheartedly and it says in effect that footballers should be treated like everybody else before the law. And I, I think what the PFA has said in their statement uh, today is um, again uh, completely acceptable. If Chet uh, is able to find another club uh, who will allow him to train? You know that is, uh, you know, that's great for that's a win for rehabilitation. I, I don't really have much to add. I think that the PFA have said uh, what they have to say on the matter, and we've said what we what we're able to say. We've done what we can to promote that principle, and and now we need to move on uh, to our other business. What was Chad's reaction to the news that the offer has been withdrawn? Um, I won't. Uh, I won't speak for Ched's reaction um, or or the reaction of those immediately around him. I acknowledge that our um, decision uh, could not have been easy to bear, and um, I wish that we had been able to follow through on our uh, on our previous decision. Uh, that's about all I could possibly say. I think. Should a decision have been made sooner? Um, look, it's. Uh, we can second guess what should have been done here, but can anybody in this room tell me that there's been a like uh, issue in English football in recent memory that would tell us that this might have happened? I'm, I'm told probably not. So uh, sure, I think we've learned a few lessons and we've got a few bruises that will inform the way we handle things going forward. Um, but um, you know, and I, there will be a lot of people who will second guess the way we've handled it, um, and I. And I don't intend to second guess them. I, you know, it's, it's, it. The matter is over. It's been handled the way it's been handled, and you know, we're moving forward. You say the matter's over, but there is a possibility that if he's cleared, that he could still sign for the club. Uh, I think let's let's be really clear. I, I think I've said that 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 supposition includes at least three speculations, right? And I don't have answers for any of those speculations, right? About whether he. Um, will be able to clear his name, whether he'll desire to play here, and whether, you know, at the time that he would become available in that way, that that he would be ne that his services would be needed here. I don't know the answers to those questions today. I, um, I, you know, I don't have a reason to have a closed mind about it. So, yeah. Great crisis have told us this afternoon on Sky Sports News that the club sounded irritated in their statement. What would be your reaction to that? Um, well, it's always difficult when one person is trying to characterize another person's response. But um, look, I'm, I think there is uh, frustration that we have uh, been uh, uh, subjected to a kind of discourse which I think is maybe inimical to, um, uh, to, the, uh, uh, to the preservation of the rights of free people. I mean, 
The justice system is something that is deliberated in Parliament by elected representatives of the people, and if a person wants to make a change to that system, well, then they go to their elected officials and make a change. They don't go out and um, try to impose on an individual the punishment you think should uh, be imposed. So I think uh, on that particular score, I think, um, am I frustrated that, that that's what's happened? Yeah, I'm frustrated. Um, but I'm a person who embraces facts, right? And the facts here say we can't continue on the path that we're on. The cost of uh, promoting the principle that we uh, believe is most important in this whole matter is, um, uh, is too high for our, our club as an individual club to bear. And, and so we've moved forward. How significant was Nigel Clough's input in this decision? Uh, you would have to know that the board did not uh, do anything that it did without uh, consulting thoroughly with, uh, with members of management, both in the front office and on the pitch. So um, I will, I think Nigel has said uh, whatever he cares to say about this matter. Um, and I think uh, we, um, we all wish that, uh, that the outcome had been uh, more to the way we imagined it might be able to be, but, uh, but a decision has been made that we've got to change courses and, and so we go forward. You mentioned earlier it was an accumulation of factors which prompted this decision. Correct. Were there any that were more significant than others? I, I guess uh, there might be one or two in my mind, and maybe they're different for other members of the board. Um, but what were the factors in your mind? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to. Uh, I'll just give you a generalization. But uh, when I was hearing from organizations who have supported our organization for uh, for decades, and they were filling uh, the jitters about uh, whether they would be able to continue to support, um, uh, you know, these community uh, type organizations. Um, you know, are a bellwether, uh, you know, a, a canary in the mine saying, you know, these uh, long-term organizations in our community think that this is uh, going to be difficult to bear. I, I, that was important to me. Um, I think also for me, as you may know, um, I, I try to spend time engaged with our fans online, and it was very telling to me uh, some of the behaviors going back and forth between proponents of the different views. Uh, that some of the uh, some of the discourse was so acrid and so um, uh, intolerant as to uh, make me worry about whether this would create a permanent source of division in our community, and that that's just not worth um, having for the benefit of allowing a young man to train at our club. I mean, we there's no other employee at our club for for whom we would risk the entire club and the uh, and the place of the club in the community um, you know for any reason right so we this is you know considering doing it for this particular person who's not our employee you know I think the analysis and the final analysis was pretty simple and the patrons and Jess Ennis Hill as well her threat to have her name taken off the, the stand was that another significant factor uh, it wasn't it wasn't for me personally so I I, I think for me their inputs are inputs that, that registered with me, uh, but um, look, the inputs that I received, you know, if I was to weigh the inputs, the overwhelming majority of the inputs were in favor of Chad's return, and they were coming from our fans. And my vision of the inputs is probably uh, skewed to the, uh, to the fact that mainly I engage with our fans, right? So, um, so I'd say that... Uh, you know, it was a very difficult decision to decide to do something which we knew that our fans would not like in the first instance, or at least a, a large group of our fans would not like. And, um, you know, we've taken this action because we think it's the only way to protect the longer-term interests of the club. And we know that in the short term that's going to really irk some of, our, uh, some of our fans. And final question, do you plan to speak to any of the patrons or indeed to Jess regarding the situation? Um, well, I, uh, I think it's too early to talk about whether those types of things are in our plans because uh, we've, uh, we, we've taken this step um, you know, you know, without setting forth a plan for how we re-engage everyone. We'll take a look at where we are, we'll assess what needs to be done. Uh, we've got bridge building and, and uh, healing to do within our own community. Um, uh, Jess, whom we've honored, is, um, uh, is maybe... Uh, uh, 
a little more remote from the club than uh, you know than uh, than some of the others who have spoken out. And but I'm sure that we'll have opportunities to uh, sort of figure out what the next steps are. But we right now we're just trying to get through today's step.